Hello everyone. I am Bharti from Gyan Niketan Girls School. Today in this video I have come up with the theme, summary and literary devices of the poem Wind from your literature book Beehive. Let us start. First we will discuss about the poet. The poem titled Wind has been composed by Chinna Swami Subramanya Bharti. He was born on 11th December 1882 and died on 11th September 1921. He was a renowned Tamil author, poet and journalist. He is popularly known as Mahakavi Bharti. He was a pioneer of modern Tamil poetry and is considered as one of the greatest Tamil authors of all times. He was a great patriot and many of his literary works are full of patriotism and nationalism. Now, we will discuss the theme of the poem. Wind is a great motivational poem. The central theme of the poem Wind re revolves around this idea that even when we face a lot of hardships and obstacles in life, we should never give up. Instead, we should face these hardships and obstacles with courage and also by befriending these obstacles. In this poem, wind is a symbol of difficulties or obstacles humans have to face for their survival. Wind inspires us to face the challenges thrown at us with courage and firm determination. Now we come to the summary of the poem. We all know that wind is a natural phenomenon. In this poem, the poet talks to the wind. He tries to tell the wind to blow softly. The poet has described the destructive power of wind and has linked the destructive power of wind to the adversities of life. The poet has drawn a living picture of the wind which makes fun of weak people or things. He says that due to the hardships and obstacles of life, weak people break down, but stronger people emerge out of adversities stronger. So he suggests that one should be strong both physically and mentally. Thus, this poem gives us important message that we should be mentally tough and physically strong in order to survive the hardships of life. A weak person breaks down like a weak building and crumbles. We must make these destructive forces our friends with our strength and determination. Now we will discuss the literary devices that the poet has used in this poem. First of all, we will discuss the rhyme scheme. The whole poem has been composed in free verse. There is no rhyme scheme in the poem. Now, coming to the literary devices. The poet has used the following literary devices in the poem. The first one is anaphora. Anaphora is a literary device in which a word is repeated at the beginning of two or more consecutive lines. In this poem, when the examples you can find of anaphora in lines 2, 3, 4. These lines begin with don't. Lines 6, 7, 8, they begin with you. The second literary device, personification. The poet has personified wind. When the poet says you are, he is referring to wind as you. That means he is treating wind as a person. In lines 5 to 8, this reference has come. Lines 12, 13 and in line 22, the wind is personified as God. In lines 18 and 20, the wind is personified as a friend. In line 21, the wind is personified as a human being. The third important literary device is repetition. The word crumbling is repeated many times to lay emphasis. The poet wants to say that the wind crushes 
everything that is weak. And that is why he has repeated the word crumbling again and again. Fourth literary device is alliteration. It is repetition of a consonant sound in adjacent words in a given line. It is an initial or beginning sound in each word. For example, here the line, the wind got winnows. Here the second word wind and winnows, they have the similar beginning sound. It starts with the consonant that is W and the sound is war, wind and winnows. Fifth literary device is symbolism. Symbolism means that the thing refers to some other things. Here in this poem, the wind is a symbol. It refers to the challenges in life. And the last literary device is metaphor. The entire poem is a metaphor because it ends on a note of application to humanity to stand against all ravages, natural or man-made. With this, we come to the end of this session. I hope you all have understood the lesson properly. Thank you. कि बोला भी स्लाइड करके बंद भी नहीं किए थे तुम बोल रहे हो फिर लास्ट वाला देखो एडिट कर देंगे हाँ वही करें ट्रीम कर देंगे हम भी जल्दी जल्दी करें मालूम कि तुमको गर्मी नहीं लगे